Edward, I have a question. Yeah? Do you think it would be weird to ask for one of the Dragonborn scales? Yes. Yes, that would be very weird. Do you think he would do it? I'll only say like this. Someone come up to you and say, Hey, can I have uh, some of your... Like, some of your skin, you know, that falls, falls off? Like, just scrape it off your bed? I'd say hair. Yeah, it's more like hair. If a gnome like came hair. up to you and asked you for your fingernail, would you be weird? But yeah, he has so many. <laughs> like, we just... got 20. Just, just don't ask, please, okay? Fine. If one gets chopped off in battle, I'm taking it. <laughs> okay, so, with Kaladon's help, the ship is quickly unloaded and loaded back with new material. The dog, um, the, uh, captain, who, Kaladon, you remember her name is Anna. Okay. Um, she goes to the Lucky Duck and some money is exchanged. And she comes back to the ship. A little bit of time passes and... The ship is ready to take off, unless anybody would like to do anything else during that time. I want to make it extra clear to Wally that I will return. He gives you a foam nod and a good... <laughs> That's all. Time for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom style map doing. Yes. Where's the dotted line? Hmm. All right. So, um, Anna brings out a map, and she's specifically showing it to Kaodon, but it's quite o out in the open for anybody that wants to can see. Um, she explains that. We are going to the Scales of Anu. It is... What? Uh, it's a, um... Dragonborn... A uh, bit of a town... That is... Right off the tip of here. Uh... I can... I'm, I am... Proficient with navigator's tools. Yeah. Off I'm the tip, right. you say, wink wink. <laughs> How long will it take to get there? Well, the trip you took... Math days. Ah. Four days. However, we are going to have to make a little bit of a detour. Um, we have to go out a little bit more and then circle back around to avoid this block of ice that formed in pretty much almost a week. We cut it pretty close to the timing for that. What was your name again? I'm Anna. Anna. Never let go, Anna. <laughs> what? Do you have any idea how, do you know how deep the uh, ice goes? It... Tends to go a good 20 feet deep. And how deep is the ship? About um, two or... feet. I thought it was all above the water. It's mostly above water. It still has a tiny bit that goes <laughs> beneath it. Like, it's not... The wood itself comes out of the water about a foot and a half, but there's about six inches that's actually under. Huh, six inches. Yeah, never mind. I, was, I just thought in my mind that maybe I could use fireball to clear out some of the ice, but uh, there's no way I'd be able to get any headway with that. Yes, way it's, to um, the I've heard that some mages were, um, and there were some ships that have devices that convert the water into, I mean, the ice into water, but that's not something that we quite have the resources to buy. Mm. It's quite a bit of money. So. Pity. Um. 
we... I'm planning on going on this kind of a course, but... Um... Kyodon, I know that you are an expert at many things, so I was wondering if you could assist me with um, figuring out the course. Sure, I would love to. Alright, uh, give me an navigator's tools check. Uh, quick question. For the navigator's tool, what is the uh, attribute that I have to select for that? Uh, it should be intelligence. Alright. Oh no, it would be I... wisdom, actually. Oh, okay. So just take, uh... If I give him advantage on wisdom checks, would that help? Yes, yes it would. Cause I had it set to shit. Uh... That'll go down to... 17. Alright. Really? Yeah, I have, uh, plus four. For, um, I'm gonna say leave it as intelligence just because um, it's one of those things that can really be either. Okay. Because I just set, you know, these tools to dexterity and then navigate the dragon chest set to intelligence. And also, you were giving him advantage on that? Uh, no, I was just curious. I just wanted to mention it in front of the captain. You can... Could I give him advantage? What is advantage? <laughs> no, it's like, oh, I could improve your navigating skills with magic if you so desire. I'm... A pity that I'm not... that my help isn't wanted and I you, walk away. You won't able... To, you didn't know what those did. Those? How was... Yes. What's those? What are you pointing at? She points at the orb above the mast. Or... Did I? And I was just rocking the boat. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. She stares at you. Honestly, just, just please help for for your own sake. No, I'm going to make her feel bad. Okay. She's not gonna feel bad. You're just gonna annoy everyone. Good. So, Edward, do you want to attempt to give him advantage? Yeah. Can I help him in any way? Yes. Give me just a plain intelligence check. Unless you're proficient with navigator's tools. I am not. Alright. So yes, he does have advantage. So, Kyodon, uh, Edward, with your help with the reference book of lore and some of the historical events that are around this, this current pl path that they had planned out would have encountered some ice. So you instead suggest going out a little bit further. Okay. Oh, that did not snap to the grid at all. One second. That was a terrible <laughs> line. I was hoping it was going to snap. Okay, class, this is when we take over the ship and go directly east. How about no? <laughs> <laughs> we must go to H Hula Nuka. Uh, and know. those of you that have any vague hint of geography, you're pretty sure that's to the north uh, west. Yeah, I want to be like Christopher Columbus, going to explore things that I don't know about. Even yes. though I do know about it. This what is, is charted water. Just... What is it that those boat stories used to say? Uh, Matany! Mutiny? That one! If you attempt to mutiny, me, I will cut you down. No, Mutiny! You must not speak of us. You must speak. You must. Please that wasn't me this. saying it. I, or that wasn't Aussie saying it. I was, I was making a humor. Uh, yeah. I'll explain to her that he is a <laughs> sheltered child. Sheltered? Oh, well, a little bit. Yeah. So this trip will take six days. Ugh. Mm. I... Edward, would it help if we blew on the sail? I'll stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, all three of the crew members just stare at you for a moment. Uh, what? I've never been on a boat before! What? Alright, so uh, did everyone get those life vests I was handing out? Yeah. <laughs> I refused to wear a life Except for Riker. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> well, I know I gave Riker a life vest. I uh, demand water wings. Okay. Not getting water wings. You're getting the life vest, okay? Now put it on. No. <laughs> you should just put it in his bag of holding and then in case okay, something happens. Okay, so. Who all is wearing the life vest? I'm wearing one under my robe. I will have mine on me, but I'm not. I'm I will wear one at leather. night. The life vest does reduce your AC by two, but it makes it to where you are not going to... If you go overboard, it will not have a chance of you drowning. How does it reduce AC? It's ho uh, Have you tried... Life vest reduce mobility quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. If it was me, I would say it reduces your dex, but... Which would in turn reduce AC. Yeah. How about it just reduces... Dexterity by two. Would that work? You're making it work. Let's just do the, the okay. AC. Alright. So, yes. If you wear it, if you go overboard, you do not have to make checks to avoid drowning. And you don't have to. It'll be a lot easier for you to swim to whatever it is. So basically what you're saying, Klaus, is you should be prepared to go overboard. What I'm saying is this is the effect of a life vest. Edward went out and bought it, so I'm making it very clear what it does. Yeah, I'm gonna hand, I'm gonna wear mine since we're not in a combat situation. All right. So, uh, Edward, you are the only one that is wearing it at the moment. Is that correct? Looks like it. All right. I'm wearing it. And Fine is also wearing it. Okay. So. I have made an encounter table that has a hundred different possibilities. <laughs> so, oh, um, couldn't just real boy. Did you have to make that many opportunities for combat? Just like not even us very. Slow not all of them are combat. Okay. Oh, interesting. Well, uh, not even close to all of them are combat. So. That's even more for you. All right, so I think I probably all end up with combat. As the ship leaves the port, you see the green spot that is Kylith, um, slowly fade off into the distance. Goodbye. Just Bye. the ship very calmly sails, Bye. not leaving a wake of water behind it. It's just very calmly. Pushing away and reforming the water behind it. It's an interesting process to watch. As it moves silently and somewhat quickly, you see Kyleth just completely fade. Nothing but the blue sea in all directions. I would like for somebody to roll me a D100. Ooh, I'm not doing it. Oh, Klaus, let's see. Is your world a flat world, or is your world a round world? Or spherical world? Uh, that is not something that is... Actually, no, you guys saw a map of the world, so, in the plane of fire, it is... it was a globe. You aren't gonna <laughs> yeah, sail off the edge. I was gonna be totally pretend I was a fat, uh, flat world, or flat earther or whatever it is, so, but okay. Mm. I guess I'll okay. roll the D100. Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Party leads. Yeah, everyone's like, I don't know about that. Uh, here we go. Last Anyone time I rolled, uh, last time I rolled something that uh, Klaus asked us to add or roll, I got one shot in my bed. Twenty-six. Alright, I would also like you to roll me a, a d6. Okay. Three. Alright, give me a moment. Three krakens come out of the water and eat us. <laughs> totally, yes. Yeah, with D100s, I always fear rolling either a nat 1 or a nat 100, because generally that's where the really bad things are. Or the really good thing. So 
So, yeah, I'm... Maybe we find three treasure chests floating? Uh, or just three ducks? Three uh, harmless ducks? Ducks are never harmless. They're always a danger. Okay, just so... As the first, um... few hours pass by... You've won hex, and... You do see a passing ship seemingly taken, taking the same or almost the same course as you, just in reverse, heading in the general direction of Kyleth. Uh, the ships both move apart, and uh, whoever wishes to may make a perception check to... I would like to... Can I use my hawk to help me? Your what? Could I use my hawk to help me make a perception check? Oh, yes. Uh, your hawk can make its own perception check. Okay, with that, um... I don't know what a perception of a hawk is. Hold on. Advantage? With sight. It does have advantage, and its bonus is plus four. Okay, so I'll roll mine and his, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that you're good. Um, Edward, as you're checking it out, it appears to be a, a small ship that is possibly used for fishing. It looks like a private thing, not a merchant ship like this one. Uh, its just... design is very much close to uh, the ship that you are currently on. I'm just like whispering to myself, like, please don't be pirates, please don't be pirates, please don't be pirates. You sell no, past no, no. and. Nothing happens. I want to watch them as we go by, like, until they're out of view. Right. You watch them, a good ten minutes pass, and they fully fade out of view. Uh, second part of the day, I need somebody else to me in D100. Coffee? This is Am the I second doing? part of the same day. Yes. Okay. Am I doing it? Do what I want to, if you would like to. Fine, just doing it. Alright. <clears throat> I just want to, uh, before you give us an encounter, did we get a long rest before this? Or was this the same day that we left? This is the same day that you left. So I would have my mage armor on still, correct? Yes. Oh no, I have I have armor on, so it, it we, gets rid of it. How late in the day is it? Could we have taken an eight-hour rest? Um, I think it has about... passed about four hours. A short rest would have been able to happen. Okay. So, I need you to owe me a... Uh... 3D2s. Who's doing this? Oh, uh, fine. Alright, so the air gets chillier, chillier and um, it begins to snow a bit. I need everyone other than Caradon and Fine to roll me constitution saves. Hold on. When I let get started on get chillier, can I ritual cast a um, tiny hut so we can get inside and stay warm? Yes. I think that's really going to fit on a boat. Oh, it's a, it's tiny a 10 foot sphere, man. Yeah. I was so, guess I'm going to do that. You cast tiny hut and a nice, very comfortably warm space appears. The snow gets a little bit rougher. Um, occasionally, one of the crewmen come in and warm up for a little bit before heading back out to. Uh, continue making sure that things go all right. Yep, I just have the dome be see through. Okay. I'm gonna stay out and uh, make sure that everything's going all smooth. All right. Um, you do see off in the distance a slight thin ice beginning to form off to the east. I will alert the captain. Let me. 
Uh, this is actually something that, as a navigator, you would know that it's not too uncommon to encounter thin ice, and ships like this can easily break through it. It's the thick ice that you have to worry about. Alright, if I see any thick ice, I'll... Woo! I will, uh... Uh, let her know. I think me and Fire could use our fire bolts to, um, take care of the thin ice if you really needed it. Um, the night passes. A long rest does occur. Wait, I get all my hit dice back. I think I'd probably uh, polymorph and uh, now I think I'd do a dog just to see what it's like. Is there anything during these events that uh, you guys would like to spend any time doing anything? Uh, keeping an eye on Riker. Little me. Uh, is there anything you want to do during this uh, boat ride? Nope. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I might do some arcane research. Um, what are you doing to research specifically? I was going to ask, how long would it be to, say, make it so that when I cast Magic Missile, instead of me waving my wand, my wand I instead create an illusionary six-shooter pistol to shoot it out of? <laughs> what? So... That would be a combination of minor illusion and magic missile, missile, which you all, which you have already both of them. Yes. And as a first level spell, it will take you, really, with the math that I came up with for that kind of stuff, it would be two days. All right, so I'm gonna start doing that. You should become, you should become a warlock, then you can just do silent image on it constantly. Nah, man, trust me, the wizard's gonna go crazy over this. Oh, I know. But... Uh, Dale Long been trying to improve the coolness of magic missile. So go ahead and uh, make an arcana check. The DC is 11. Okay. I also want to uh, study the study the um, book that's like uh, that I got from the inn or tavern, the ghost book. All right. Um, I've got to help me us. Oh, sure. No, the DC was 11. Uh, you good? All right. Yeah. Um, and this is something that, unless somebody else had both of those, <clears throat> well, either one of those spells, then they could help you with, but other than that, not really. Okay. Alright. So, anybody else would like to do anything? I'll help Edward if it helps, but... Okay. Um... You wouldn't be able to reduce the time, but you would be able to give him advantage the next time that he does something. Sure. Alright. So, if nobody else is doing anything, as the night passes, you end up in the next time. Um, actually, I'm going to shift you over to a map of the ship. Same for the record, before the long rest, I did polymorph into a, into a dog with very thick fur. To see what it's like. You want to lick everything. I am learning so much right now. Oh god. Uh, learning how to be various animals. Great. I was then, this is now. I'm waiting okay. for you to just give up on the world and become a dog or something completely. That's true maybe polymorph. Just, yeah, make make somebody get a true polymorph on you and be like, I want to be a pony forever. Like, oh, the pinnacle of his arcade experience is becoming a dog. No, it's becoming a pony. That shit was life-changing. I have missed somebody. I do not know who I missed, though, adding on. I think it's me, because I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Yep. There we go. And I also gotta grab the book and the menu. Mm. That is the wrong map. That is the right map.
I also realize that your hawk is transparent, and there's nothing I can do about that. Really? Yes. It's only I can see it. No, I mean, like, the token itself, it is transparent. Slightly. Oh. I thought I meant the actual spell. Nah, I can live with that. I guess that's just a placeholder. So, for the first part of this next day, I need someone to well that D hundred, that lovely, lovely D hundred. Um, I can do it this time. Ooh, oh. seventy nine. One more close to my left. All right. High numbers are good, right? So, as the morning passes, what are each of you doing? Um... Uh, the coldness has subsided a little bit. You're able to comfortably leave the tiny hut and not freeze to death. I'm probably still watching, uh, looking out on the ship. Or from the ship. So, yeah, the huddle will still be there. Sorry. Riker, I want to be sitting up on the mask. Riker thing. makes it makes this his daily thing to like clean, meditate, train pretty much all day. Okay. And has Puff pretty much scouting on top of the sail all day. Um, as you are training, this is actually going to affect um something. But I would like for you to do only just a your primary ability is charisma, right? Yes, sort of. Well, I meant like your primary spellcasting. Yes. Alright, so I would like for you to roll me a charisma check. Just the check, not a save. So as you practice your arcane odes and uh, do a few li uh, slight different fighting moves, uh, training yourself, preparing... Um, you woke on familiarizing yourself with any new abilities that you might have gained. And what is... Fine, what are you doing? I cast jump, and I jump up to the other side of the mass to balance out Ozzy. Okay. What? The two extremely light people... Yes. <laughs> Set up on the mast. Uh, and I want to be keeping a lookout. Anna regularly looks up void. Looks what? Uh, looks Murray. up at the both of you, a little bit worried, and then goes back to work. Uh, I drink. Don't worry, I got Featherfall. I can fly. <laughs> yeah. Alright. There we go. Um, so, Edward, what are you doing? I'm probably still, uh, I'm probably making sure the dome is, that the hut is still up in case it gets cold again. And I'm also continuing to try and perfect the, uh, six-shooter spell I have in mind. Alright. So, I would like for Kiridon, um, I'll see and find to roll me perception checks. Ooh. my hawk make one? Uh, yes, your hawk can make one, and so can Puff, the magic dragon. Hey. <laughs> Perception? Yes. Twelve, not that good. Ah. Uh, Twenty-one. Okay, so cue it on. <laughs> Yo. Um, as um, everybody's going about the business, um, Aussie is possibly singing a song. Fine is probably um, high, not really paying much attention to the world around here. I don't have drugs, but I do have alcohol. Probably drunk. And Anna is 
very carefully checking out the mast to make sure there's no signs of breakage from their weight. Oh, the Dragonborn is apparently making light repairs and the Orc is doing inventory. You notice a slight shifting in the water. Do you see a dark spot deep beneath? And another. And another. Um. I would like for you to give me a nature check. Nature check. I'll run, roll my own as well. You are not aware of this. Oh yeah, that's right. Bam. So, you see small forms about two feet tall. About a dozen of them. Slowly making their way up to the ship. What exactly they are, you are unsure. Uh, I'm gonna ask the captain. Just like I said, I'll alert her to any problems I think of. So I see. Um, you pointed it out to her. She looks down amongst it. Oh shit. She yells out back towards the um, group. Everybody get ready. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something coming. Can I look uh, in the water and see if I know what it is? Uh, give me a perception check. With advantage because it's been pointed out to you. And give me a nature check. <laughs> Well, so much for that. If you wouldn't have known any better, you would say that it's monkeys. Sea monkeys. Well, I mean, we got sea horses, so I guess sea monkeys works too. I hate uh, monkeys so damn much. I like for a rageful initiative, you have one round to prepare for stuff. From how you're guessing how fast they are moving. I prepare uh, my bow. Uh, mage armor? Oh, yeah, definitely mage armor. And I. Oh no, never mind. I have armor. Um, 